Hey everyone, it's Sahar here from 360 Live, and today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm in my kitchen and I'm using the wonders of technology on Google Plus, and I'm going to cook with you guys and see how it goes. And if people like this and we get, if I get some kind of response to this, then you know it's something I'm thinking of doing on a regular basis. You know, I'm always doing things in the kitchen and it's just so easy to share these days with technology. So today's my inaugural Google Plus Hangout, um, making banana bread. We are using beautiful black bananas so that um, this could be a lot blacker, but this is what we've got. Um, so that we don't have to use lots of sugar in our banana bread. And started pushing these up last night because the oven was on, I was cooking, and I thought, while well, the oven's hot, I'll put some banana bread in, then I'll be ready for my daughter's lunch box and all that kind of stuff. And my brother dropped around and life happened and it didn't happen. But what I didn't have was eggs. Now, I like eggs. I don't have a problem with eggs. Some people do. Um, so people use egg replacers. So I thought, I will use this as an opportunity to try chia seeds, which I've read about, and that's about all. I haven't tasted them, I haven't tried them, but I thought I will use this to try chia seeds as an egg replacer because I know a lot of people have great success with this. So literally, this is one tablespoon of chia seeds that I've ground up in the mortar and pestle, so you don't need fancy equipment. Um, or if you've got a blender or a coffee grinder, you can use that. And I've added three tablespoons of water and it's created this gel, which is the awesome stuff that Chia Seed actually does. It um, creates this beautiful gel like that you can use as your egg replacer. So we're going to try this. So this is my simple as banana bread. When my little girl was young, she loved cafe banana bread. And I was like, I want to make a better banana bread. She likes bananas, awesome. Let's make one together. And I want to make it in a bowl. So she can sit up here on the kitchen bench with me as young as 18 months and start to learn how to make good food. So this is my recipe I'm going to share with you today. So we start off with our bananas. As I said, the blacker, the better, because then you can actually use no or this with sugar to sweeten it up because you're getting all the natural sweetness from the bananas. Um, I started mushing these up last night and put them in the fridge, so mine are a little black, if you can see that. If you do it fresh, they will be nice and yellow. And then as simple as this, I have, so that's about three bananas. And over on my blog, Sahara 360 Alive, under Kids in the Kitchen, is this recipe without the chia seed replacement, but I will go over and add that in as an alternative to make it egg-free. If eggs don't work for you, because for a lot of people, they don't. And if you do do eggs, please factor into your budget by organic free range eggs. Your body will thank you for it, and the chickens will thank you. For it. it really is important. There's some things in your budget that you've just got to look at and go from a nutritional point of view, from an ethical point of view, from an agricultural farming practicing point of view that if you can budget them in, do. Like it's just, it's important. Not everything has to be organic, but look at certain things, look at the dirty dozen. My, my daughter's an apple fiend and apples are up there with the highest amount of pesticides. So I just spent $15 on a kilo and a half of apples. And I know that my daughter is going to be loved up by those nutrients and her body is not going to be stressed by all the excess elimination that she has to do because of all the pesticides that are on it. So just a side note, let's get back because I can ramble. I do like to talk. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so then putting in for our healthy yummy fats is coconut oil. So we're putting in a third of a cup of coconut oil. Um, if you're a butter person, you can use a third of a cup of melted butter. Again, make sure it's from happy cows because if we're getting produce from happy animals, then it's going to make us happier. If the animals aren't happy and they're stressed, then that comes through in their chemistry, which comes through in the food that we actually harvest from them. So just mixing in. So all we've got is a fork and a bowl. Mixing the oil in. La -da 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 -da. Very cool. And then the next thing that we're going to put in is our chia seed. So if you were using an egg, you put one egg in now. Or if you're going to use your chia seeds as an egg replacement, let's put that in. Now I'm really interested to see how this goes. As I said, 
I've never actually done this before. And that's something that I love doing, um, is experimenting, trying things out and seeing if they work. And that's part of my offer that I have for you as well, for people who follow and engage with me, is that, you know, these ingredients, they cost money. And doing stuff in the kitchen, it's time. So, you know, we can do simple things in the kitchen that are full of nutrition, they're delicious and they're easy. But, you know, a lot of people don't have the time to experiment. So let me do the experimentation for you. Let me do the failures for you. And I will share all the success with all the steps in between. Because I'm a trained naturopath, I'm a trained health coach, a classical Indian yoga teacher. And I have all this amazing amount of knowledge. Knowledge is one thing. Putting into practical application is another thing. So I'm not a trained chef and I didn't grow up in a house where my mom taught me heaps about the kitchen. So I have all this knowledge, but then as I apply it to the kitchen, I learn. Um, and sometimes I don't make great things. And I've actually learned how to fail in the kitchen, which has been an amazing thing for me because I was always a bit of a perfectionist. If I couldn't do it perfectly, then kind of, you know, oh, why bother? And, you know, a lot of anxiety around that. Whereas now I'm learning how to fail because I have done many, many flops. So let me do the flops, break it down, give you the steps because a lot of people out there, they have chef backgrounds or they have really good cooking skills and they tend to leave out a lot of steps in their recipes. Um, and when you've got to go and do it, it looks so simple. And then as you're doing it, you go, why isn't that so simple? And that's because there's some steps missing for people who don't have that skill basis. So as I said, let me make mistakes and I'll share the skill set with you. So that when you do it, it is simple. It is easy. So you can do it again. And it's nutritious and delicious because that's what I work on. Simple, nutritious, delicious and easy. Okay, so here we've got our chia seeds, our banana and our oil. So that's simple now. Here you could add in sugar if you wanted to. Um, working with half a cup of sugar, I tend to use coconut sugar. You could also put some honey in. Try to stay away from, or please stay away from, don't try to, stay away from refined sugars. They're not offering you any nutrition and they're stressing your body out. It's that simple. So if you're going to use sugar, use a nutritious kind of sugar. So in here you could put maple syrup, you can put raw honey, you can put coconut sugar, you can put coconut nectar. I'm going to leave this as, as is um, because my daughter and I, we don't actually consume that much added sugar in and we've got all the natural yummy sugar from the bananas. So next ingredient, because we're skipping sugar, because we need it, is one teaspoon of organic vanilla essence. My daughter loves vanilla. Over the chocolate, actually. When I said, what kind of cake would you like? It's vanilla, not chocolate. But she does like chocolate as well. And we make our own homemade chocolate together, which is yummy as. And hopefully um, I will be watching that on Google Plus soon. And you can come and make it with me. Okay, so next I'm going to actually sift my flour. And I just... Stop for a moment because I want to use this sifter for something else at the end. So bear one moment while I get a different sifter. Okay, so in here is one teaspoon of gluten-free baking powder and we have wholemeal spelt. And I don't know if you can see, you can just start to see down here where the green is, is pepita or pumpkin seed meal. Um, I like to use seed meals because that makes it school um, lunchbox friendly in Australia where I'm based there is um, a lot of nut allergies as there are across the globe and so for school policies with lunch it's nut free um, so yeah so I try and do a lot on seed meal and sometimes I do this completely on seed meal or if we're not going to school I use almond meal um, yeah, and just a ratio. The more seed meal and nut meal you use, you might actually want to use two eggs instead because it gets very, very, very moist. And, um, yeah, just make sure you get that all through then, nice and fine. And once you kind of get down, like, there will be some of the husky bit from the seeds. So I just throw that in the fiber. And simple as mix this together. It's that simple. This is banana bread in a bowl made with superfood, chia seeds, high omega-3s, egg replacer, um, coconut oil, 
We've got the wonders of the pita seed meal. We've got awesome bananas giving their wonderful nutrition. And that's it. Not, not sugar. You can add the sugar in if, if you need to. And just making sure that your mixture gets all the flour. And then it's into a hot oven. So my oven's quite hot, so I've got it at 170 degrees Celsius. Um, if yours is a bit slower, you can put it at 180. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head what that is in Fahrenheit, though I am learning the conversions. And that's it. That is your banana bread. So I have here my loaf. I've got some baking paper in there. And literally, I'm just going to put it in. I put it in my oven and then put something else on my chair with you. About now, I always check at 50 minutes to see how it's going. And I use the wonderful iPhone, which is down here, we'll grab that, as my timer. So I'll just put the timer on for 50 minutes. There we go, that has started. Now, the other thing I wanted to share with you, I'll get this out of the way is I wanted to, I was reading an email from Teresa Cutter, who's known as the Healthy Chef. She's an Australian and has awesome recipes and breakdowns of nutrition and all sorts of stuff. Um, so definitely worth checking out Teresa Cutter. And she was talking about Levine. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's a yogurt cheese. And I've been interested to experiment with making cream cheese and different stuff, and it's on my list of things to do because I would like my kitchen, my goal in my kitchen one day is to be anything that we're really consuming, my daughter and I, but we can make, um, you know, real food, making real ingredients without all the added stuff to give it a shelf life or for packaging and all that kind of stuff. So this is the beginning of that journey. got myself some nice muslin and um, we have some organic yogurt here. And using dairy is another thing that I'd really advocate organic. And this is literally the simple. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, but on top of this is this liquid. That's kind of the way. So when you're making a yogurt cheese, is literally just put the yogurt in, wrap it up, and let for 24 hours all the way through the pouch. So then you'll have the way underneath. You can use that in smoothies and for other things. Um, and on top, you will have yogurt cheese. So let's put some in there and see what happens. A little bit excited about this. And I was talking to someone the other day about cream cheese. Then all you really need for cream cheese is to put some vinegar in it. Um, so we'll start with this. And it literally is, from my understanding, as simple as this. So you can already start to see that is coming out. So I have a little quickly rose. Here it is. There we go. On my way to making my own yogurt cheese. And if this is yummy, I'll be making more and taking it out of me. The other thing I'm going to be taking out of me, which I made yesterday for the very first time, is I'm a little bit excited about this. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I have things that I want to do and then you get to that. I've been waiting to search for an ingredient, which is marshmallow root, because I yesterday made my very first batch of marshmallows. I learned a few things. I whipped it a little bit too long. So I will be making these again and writing up the recipe and doing it with my daughter. So my daughter and I do a segment called Kids in the Kitchen and um, showing you how easy it is to cook with kids and teach them real food. And a passion that I have is what we consider to be treats. 
unfortunately, are some of the crappiest food on the market. We can still enjoy these foods. We just have to reclaim them back to their original ingredients. This has in it water, raw honey, marshmallow root, vanilla powder, and raspberry gelatin. So this actually ends up being, you can put probiotics in it too, ends up being an amazing real food, real food. And it's marshmallow. I'm not into marshmallows at all, but my daughter is. And I don't want to feed her the ones that are full of highly refined sugar that are nothing um, with food colouring in it. And so we made some pink ones too. That's the bright, bright pink. And that's just citrus juice. And my daughter wasn't such a fan of that because it's got a little bit of the earthiness from beetroot in it. So I'm going to experiment with hibiscus flowers, which are extremely high in vitamin C. And she's taken with orange ones for some reason. So we're going to do some carrot juice as well. So look out for kids in the kitchen. And um, this is Sahara signing out from the 360 Live Kitchen. I'm in Australia. And, um, yeah, my offer to you is showing how simple it is to make Good food. It is really, really simple. Simple, easy, nutritious, and delicious. 360 way. Signing out from Oz. Peace, love, and keeping it real. Ciao.